What's going on, guys? So, this year, 2018, I think I'm going to be a little more, I'm not going to say honest, because I've always been honest with what I say, but I think I'm going to be a little more raw with what I'm saying. Um, a lot of things that uh, got me into real estate, um, I, I try to hold back the negative part of why I got into real estate. And uh, to be honest with you, it was because I did not like the agents that I met. I did not like the inexperience. I did not like being sold when what they were suggesting was just wrong. Uh, people that were uneducated in what they were selling. This is just my, my point of view. Um, there's people that'll say, you don't need to know about the product you're selling. You just need to know how to sell it. Hey, great. You know, but now that I've been in the business for a few years and I've gotten to see and meet with some uh, some agents and uh, there's a lot of agents that are great. They, uh, they have been a pleasure to work with, um, but I still encounter so much crap out there and I just don't understand why it's it's still going on. Um, from, you know, agents that are listing, you know, over half million dollar homes and they put no effort into the listing. They don't put no information. They uh, they don't update. I just talked about it yesterday. I went to a new construction. The, the picture online was a picture, a, a cartoon drawing. You think the agent would actually go by, update, say, hey, listen, the house is framed. We're waiting on electrical, something so I could give my clients some answers. No, and this guy is gonna probably make, oh, I don't know, $15,000 off this house. I mean, come on, it's this is something that you should be doing, really. Um, then, then I see agents that are listing over half million dollar homes and they're taking pictures it doesn't even look like iPhone photos. They're like flip phone photos. Are you serious? Like, you don't have to hire a professional if, if you know how to use the equipment yourself. All right? So learn how to use the equipment yourself. But this is basics. This is what the, the client should get on a basic level nowadays. There's many, many professionals out there that will do this work for a very reasonable cost. Now, I understand, listen, I go to list your home and it doesn't sell. I'm out quite a few hundred bucks. I'm in this as much as you. I'm vested. This is not a zero dollar investment for me. I really want to sell your property. But I'm going to do everything in my power to give you everything I can, you know, with, with the value of your home and what, what we could get out of it. Now, if, it, if it's a hundred thousand dollar hole, then guess what? I'm going to bring my, my own professional camera and maybe I'm not going to pay my professional photographer to do it. I'll do it myself to save a little, little money, but I'm going to give you the best product available to me to give to you. And I just don't understand why other agents aren't doing that. And it's not just agents. It's, it's across every, every spectrum of business, you know, in construction, it's the same thing. Guys are willing to do flips with the cheapest contractors. They're willing to sell you a home that they flipped and they used a handyman to do all their work. You could see it in the tile work. You could see it in the finish. You could see it in the flooring. Everything's done as cheap as possible. We have to stop this. And as a consumer, you have to look into this. You shouldn't just look past this. So many of you are going to hire an agent because they're your friend, your family member. You don't even know what type of work they do. You don't even care. You're spending thousands of dollars with them without caring. I mean, think about that. You're going to buy a house with someone that has no experience, and that's fine as long as they utilize the experience that's in their office, but you're not even vetting them. You're, you're, you're just going carte blanche. You're selling a house to, to the lady or the guy that has a million signs in the, in the neighborhood. Well, you should ask them, you know, how are you going to service me better than someone that maybe doesn't have 30, 40 listings? If you have 30, 40 listings, how are you able to service them as well as someone that maybe has five or 10? You know, the person with five or 10 that might do a little more for their customer, but might take on a lot less. So 
my my objective this year for you is is to educate 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 anything i could help you with as far as giving you knowledge and giving you insight that's exactly what i want to do as always and i'll say this over and over and over again interview 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 learn about your professional i don't care if it's a real estate agent a lawyer a contractor uh, a babysitter i don't care who it is whoever is working for you you need to learn as much about them and find out what value they're going to bring to you and if you're getting as much as you can from the person you really enjoy working with have a great day guys if you need anything you know how to get in touch with me